Hi folks, it's Bob, Bob from Mountain Crest Farms again. Oh, how y'all doing today? I'm not even going to try to pretend I'm videoing this early in the morning. I know this is a coffee chat, but we're past coffee. This is my big mug. This is a Switchel. Oh, you know, 1850s Gatorade, 1850s Powerade. Some people call it Switchel. Some people call it Haymaker's Punch. I'll put a little right up in here. I'll put a little link to a video I did on it that's got uh, got the recipe. Oh, today's video, today's coffee chat is going to be real easy because I met somebody, sort of met him. I met somebody that really surprised me, pleasantly surprised me. And uh, I want to tell you all about her. But first I want to preface it with, I can be kind of cynical. Um, my wife works at Walmart and she comes home telling me about what this customer did or that customer did or we'll be watching news, mainly political news and she'll say, why do people do that? And my stock response is because people are stupid. The typical person is stupid. Now, you, you all know I'm not talking about you. You can't be stupid. You watch my videos. But I'm kind of cynical in that my first answer is always people are stupid. That's why they do that. So, <clears throat> whenever a situation comes up and I don't know anybody, haven't met anybody, but I'm going to be interacting with them, I shouldn't, but uh, I kind of expect the interaction to be bad. And I am happy when I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, I don't think I've mentioned it in any of the coffee chats. I may have mentioned it in some of my other videos. But, you know, a little homestead here, and uh, on a homestead, you, you're trying to get away from public jobs, so you do things that make money on the homestead. And you, you're not on a small homestead like I've got. You're not going to find any one thing that's going to make you a fortune. So you do a bunch of little things that all add up. I'm making a dollar a day off of, well, I made two dollars one day, but I'm averaging about a dollar twenty or a dollar thirty a day off of YouTube. That's not much, but it's, a buck, it's 50 bucks a month. That'll go toward a bill. I've got a small sharpening service. We're a classified ad in the local paper, and I've got a small sharpening service. And sharpen everything from knives to scissors to machetes to axes to lawnmower blades to chisels. Don't make much, but it adds up. And one other thing that I do is I've got an eBay store. Not a big eBay store. I'm little by little trying to add to my stock of stuff to sell. Um, get a lot of it from thrift stores, garage sales, things like that. I look for stuff that's, you know, a little bit odd that'll bring a little bit of money. And my eBay store is where I met this lady. Now, if y'all have watched any, many of my videos at all, eh, from the first of the year forward, Y'all know that I've had some pretty serious health issues. And uh, between the surgery the first week of January and recovering from that and then the um, radiation therapy the last week of February and first week of March, which knocked me down again pretty good, I, had, I, I couldn't pay attention to my eBay store. I was doing good to pay attention to things that have to be paid attention to. And I put the eBay store on vacation mode. They've got a vacation mode on eBay where you can put a store on vacation mode where people won't buy anything because on an eBay store, you've got 48 hours to ship out something that's bought. And I, when the surgery was coming up, I think the last week of last year, I put it on vacation mode and put a little note on there. Be back January 12th. I figured surgery was the 7th. Five days, I ought to be able to you know, get back and 
at least ship out stuff on eBay. Well, I didn't even look at my eBay store until the day before yesterday, or the day before that. Um, last, let's see, this is Sunday. I didn't even look at my eBay store until, I want to say Wednesday. And lo and behold, there's two items that have been bought. And I checked my messages, and I've got a message, not mean, not nasty, just blunt. When am I going to get my refund? And it was one of the people that had bought one of those two items. Had bought this item back in April. So, supposed to ship in two days. All of April, all of May, here we are toward the end of June. Two days became, was, two, was three months. And I messaged her back. I explained that uh, my eBay store had been on vacation mode and I didn't think anything had been sold. And I hadn't even looked at it. Um, I messaged her back that uh, I'd be glad to refund her money. Or did she still want the item? And I kind of have a feeling this item was important to her. Back when she first ordered it, it was a postal scale. And she's got an eBay store. And I kind of have a feeling that the postal scale was so she could weigh things so she didn't know how much postage to put on them to ship them out. That makes it kind of important. It's the same scale I use. And uh, so, so she needed it when she ordered it. And here I am three months late. But, like I say, I emailed her. Well, it's not really email. It's, it gets to your email box, but it's through eBay's messaging system. Um, that I'd refund her money or that I would ship it, whichever she preferred. And uh, I was expecting a very short... And I explained that, you know, I'd had some health issues. and I apologized. And what I was expecting back was a short, curt, I want my money back. It's too late to send me the scale. That's what I expected. You know, you should never expect things out of people, good or bad. Because what I got back was, and by the way, I, I, I'm not going to identify her in this video. She probably doesn't want anybody to know who she is. But she does have an eBay store. Her name's Judy. Real nice lady from Missouri. She emailed me back that she'd still like to have the scale and I'm sorry about your health issues. I hope you get to feeling better. And we've done the message back and forth thing. I told her, well, I, it'd go out the next day and uh, it actually went out yesterday, Saturday. Um, that it would go out the next day. And I really appreciated the fact that, you know, she understood and apologized again. And then uh, she, I, I texted her um, Friday, told her that the, the package was ready to go, had the mailing label on it and just waiting for the postal lady to pick it up when she runs Saturday and again apologized and I get back another really nice message appreciate the you getting it shipped to me and I don't even know if this thing's going to do her any good surely she's bought another scale by now um but uh, she, just as nice as she can be, and she's a godly person. I know that just from the wording of some of her messages. I can't remember exactly, but I know she's, I know she's a Christian type person. And by the way, Judy, if you watch this video, I did tell her about the YouTube channel and told her she'd be featured in a in one of my coffee chats. Um, if you're watching this video, if, if you don't want it, 
in there don't but if you want a link to your store your eBay store so that the people that see this video can come visit if you'll put it if you'll comment down below you know down there in the comment section if you'll comment down there and include a link to your eBay store I will pin that comment where it's the top one and stays the top one for as long as this video is up <coughs> if people read the description and I do encourage y'all to read the description and the comments but uh, if you'll put a link in the comments down there I'll pin it to the top and people will see it first because you've been you've been not what I've come to expect of people I was pleasantly surprised and grateful and again I want to tell you again I'm sorry I didn't get it to you in a timely manner three months is an awful long time longer than two days but the point of this video is don't assume things about people um, everybody's an individual some of them are stupid just like I tell my wife some of them are pretty smart like my viewers some people are just naturally mean and nasty I mean there's people in this world who get up every morning the only thing that will make them happy is being unhappy and causing somebody else some unhappiness yeah there's people like that but don't assume people are going to be that way. Wait until you meet somebody in person, over the internet, or through the messaging system on eBay. Wait until you meet somebody and then decide what kind of person they are. Because I learned, I, I expected one thing of Judy, and I learned she's totally different. She's not what I expected. And I shouldn't have been expecting her to be a certain way. I should have waited, met her, and then found out what kind of person she was. So Judy, you have an awesome day. Put your, put your link down there in the comments. And y'all, the rest of you, go visit her store. She, she does collectibles and stuff like that. Have some, I went and looked at her store. She doesn't have a big store. I think she's like me, got a small store and growing. But uh, she does collectibles and this type of thing that a lot of my viewers actually might like. Uh, thinking specifically about you, Nona Grace. I think you'll like some of the stuff on her, on her store. But uh, y'all have a fantastic day. And because I'm going to, I, I'm, I'm always going to have a fantastic day. If I'm above ground and breathing, the day is awesome. From there, it goes nowhere but up. But uh, y'all have an awesome day. Comment down there. Tell me whether you like the video or not. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. If you're not subscribed, mash that little subscribe button down there and then hit the bell so you'll get notifications. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, but don't forget those two things. Don't ever forget. I'm not going to forget to tell y'all, but y'all don't ever forget those two things. Number one, the tomb was empty. Number two, he is alive. So y'all go have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time, okay?